finally a Disney Channel movie based on a property I'm somewhat familiar with. Kim Possible, A Sitch in Time. I was just around the age where I wasn't really watching kids' cartoons that much. I was around late high school or early college. But when I saw people like John DiMaggio, Nicole Sullivan, and Ricardo Montalban were attached, I said, eh, maybe I should check this out. And of the few Kim Possible shows I saw, I found myself actually enjoying it. But then again, that was a long time ago. Is it possible years later, now that I'm older, I find that Kim Possible isn't as funny as I remember it? Well, I'm glad to say, no. It's not only funny, it's even funnier. This is an incredibly funny, character-driven, energized, and just downright fun film. Kim Possible, voiced by Christy Carlson Romano, man, she did a lot for the Disney Channel, didn't she? Is bummed out because her sidekick and dude in distress, Ron Stoppable, God, how can you not love these names, is moving to Norway. He still insists that he can show up to help with the missions, but being so far away, he's constantly showing up late. That of course doesn't help when a good chunk of Kim Possible's worst villains band together and say, Hey, we're gonna take over the world with time travel. They use this ancient monkey statue that has magic to travel through time, and... Yeah, that's kind of it. I'll be very honest, this is not a very story-based movie. It's pretty much just the idea that the bad guys from the show can travel through time, the heroes can follow, and just all the strange and weird things that come from it. They try to go back to Kim Possible in kindergarten, where they just make fun of her. They then go to her high school, where they try to make fun of her some more. One of the villains steals it for her own and decides to use it to her own advantage. All while Ron's naked mole rat with the voice of Michael Dorn comes from the future to warn them of the dangers? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. It's made very obvious early on that the focus of this movie is not going to be telling an emotional or gripping story. It's just having an excuse to put a bunch of funny scenes and jokes together. But thankfully, all those funny scenes and jokes are driven entirely by the characters who are all hilarious, resulting in a lot of legit laugh-out-loud moments. Watching these Disney Channel movies, I can probably count on one hand how many times I actually verbally laughed out loud. With this one, though, it entered the double digits. This is funny writing. Done by funny actors. Some random actors, in fact. Michael Clark Duncan is in this, Kelly Ripa, Dakota Fanning, Vivica A. Fox, the list of oddness goes on. But they're all great, and they know how to make this already funny writing be even funnier. This is the kind of comedy that makes me laugh the most. The satire of superhero, secret agent stuff. But also while making fun of the flaws, throwing in some reality, but also throwing in some surreality that makes it just so crazy and zany. I could listen to the villains in this movie bicker forever. I love the alliance of convenience. I love that they all legitimately don't get along, but they have to in order for their evil plans to work, and even then, they're always trying to backstab one another. Just listen to them argue about putting the monkey statue in its place. It's hilarious. Rock beats paper. <laughs> hey, you daft man. Paper beats rock. Oh, come now. How can flimsy paper possibly beat the raw density of stone? The action is also a lot of fun. There's something about the way it's animated that's really energized, and you kind of feel every punch, every swing, every dodge. It's kind of like the dialogue, where everything is just so quick and so fast, you almost don't have time to catch up to it. And because of that, they try a lot of various jokes. Some work, some don't, but the ones that don't work are quickly forgotten and replaced by the ones that do work. It's just so fast and well edited, it doesn't give you a time to remember when there was a bad joke. Now, while most of the people watching this are probably aware of the show, some might be asking, do I have to be aware of the show or know anything about it in order to watch the movie? For the most part, no. It helps if you know, but you can quickly catch on to what it's about. The characters are so well-defined and so funny that you ease up to them very quickly. And like I said, the movie is not really focused on any kind of drama or story-driven turmoil. Which I guess in some respects could be a turnoff to some people. This is kind of like Big Trouble in Little China or Evil Dead 2 or even the Lego movie. It just kind of exists to have a bunch of jokes that move really fast, are thrown at you super fast. And when you're done, you're left with a lot of really funny moments and a lot of really funny characters, but not really a heavy weight to anything that's happened. And it just kind of goes from one crazy thing to another crazy thing. And if you're on board for the ride, it can be a lot of fun. If I absolutely had to nitpick, I'd say maybe Kim Possible is a little bit of a blank slate. She doesn't really have a ton of character, but it's kind of like Superman, that's not exactly the point. Kids are supposed to imagine themselves in the role, going on these adventures and fighting these bad guys, and she does it great, has all the one-liners, and is popular while doing it. Ron Stoppable at times can have a voice that's a little grating, but mostly his jokes hit bullseyes. 
Let's be honest though, what this movie clearly likes, as well as the show I'm assuming, are the villains. They're weird, but funny. They're powerful, but they're losers. They're in control, but they're always bickering. They steal the show whenever they're on screen. So yeah, even if you're a fan of the show or have never even heard of it, I'd still recommend this movie. If you haven't seen the show, it might take a little getting used to what's going on, but you'll catch on real quick. It's nothing great, like I said, the story isn't really that much to write home about, but it's just fun. It's a fun, fun film. I found out recently it's the same people that did the Buzz Lightyear show and movie, and you know what? That was really funny too. I actually really want to look into these shows. I don't know if they're on DVD or if I have to watch them another way, but I say it's worth it. I say there's a lot of talented people behind this. They're creative, they're humorous, they have memorable characters. This is certainly a mission you definitely want to accept. <laughs>